This video reviews the disease detection indices in your Medmon E300 corneal topographer. We've clicked on a topography that has the appearance of a possible disease dye, but how do we determine whether this is actually normal or abnormal? One of the ways that you can determine whether this is an abnormal eye beyond just looking at the the power across this eye or the, the shape of the topography appearance is to go to the scale range on the left hand side. With an axial map selected under display, axial power, go to a normalized scale and that shows us the full distribution of power across this particular topography. The bottom of the scale is indicating the flattest point we can read is 35 diopters. The steepest we can read is 45 diopters or a difference from flattest to steepest of 10 diopters. And you know that normal corneas fall within a 10 diopter distribution of power. So this patient is right on the threshold between normal and abnormal. We might choose a different scale for this particular case, either a K scale, a standard power, or universal scale. And any one of these scales might tell us whether the eye falls completely within the red or for the vast majority within the steepest end of the scale. Or conversely, if this were a post-LASIK patient, whether we had the vast majority of powers falling within the blue. So if the patient has green yellow contours it's m most likely a normal uh, curvature if the patient falls within the red then very much within the steepest end of curvature or blue very much flattest end of curvature let's go back to a normalized scale and then go down to the data tab at the bottom which where our principal disease detection indices lay and what you see here is the IS, SAI, and SRI value. The IS looks at the inferior hemisphere and averages out all these powers, then compares it to the superior hemisphere. If the I, the inferior, is much steeper than the S, the superior, then you'll have a higher and higher IS value. The vast majority of keratoconus, of course, presents in the inferior hemisphere, so we'd expect to see a value uh, much greater, a positive IS value. In this particular case, this patient has a 0.8 diopter steeper inferior cornea than superior, normal being less than 1.5 diopters. SAI, or surface asymmetry index, looks at the oblique meridians and compares the powers across this hemichord versus the powers across this hemichord and then does the same thing in the opposing oblique meridian. Is this side of the line a mirror of this side of the line? The more asymmetric the eye, the higher the SAI value will be. If you have a value greater than 1.0, that would be indicative of an abnormal eye. The last value, surface regularity, looks at the powers distributed within the pupil. How smooth is the cornea as an example? And any eye under 0.8 is considered normal, in this case 0.38. Anything over 0.8 is considered abnormal. When your disease detection indices are green, this indicates this patient falls within normal range. When you have yellow, it's cautionary. When you have red, it's abnormal. So let's choose another case, a patient that is more clearly a diseased eye or an abnormal eye. First, we go up to display, look at the axial power map, then make sure we have a normalized scale selected. The distribution of power from flattest we can read is 35 diopters to steepest we can read is 55 diopters or a distribution of power of 20 diopters. Normal corneas falling within 10 diopters or under 10 diopters of scale range. If we were to select one of the absolute scales, we notice a very defined red area falling very much within the steepest end of the scale. If we choose one of the other scales, we see similar uh, results. So regardless of which 
of these three scales you use. When you see more red, you know the eye falls within um, a much steeper end of the spectrum. Now, when we go to the principal disease detection indices in the data tab below, we see the IS, the SAI, and the SRI value. All boxes are red, indicating this patient is very much an abnormal eye guided by the volume of boxes falling within that red range.